What the heck? What the heck? I got a snake on here. I've already lost my first try of the day. I need to land this one. A fish on! Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful snake. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and today is a very special day for us because today we are celebrating five years of marriage. Jay, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary! Oh my I love goodness. You. I cannot believe that I've put up with you for five years. I can't believe I've put up with you for five it's years. Crazy. It's crazy. It's <laughs> crazy. So to celebrate this huge milestone in our relationship, we have traveled to where it all began. This spot right here is where Jay and I actually went on our very first date. Jay said that she was into fishing and I was like, I'm into fishing, let's go do some <laughs> trout fishing. And uh, we came to this specific river and we tore them up that day. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, he put me to the test. Yeah, I figured if she could catch a trout then she could probably catch anything. Yeah. And then from that day, we've been fishing together ever since. It's been an amazing five years and we are very much looking forward to seeing what we can catch out here of this river today. We've caught some monster trout here. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along with us on this fishing adventure, we would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button for us and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. But with that being said, we've got some trout to catch. Let's do it. Let's go. guys we are in the water it is very chilly this water is like high 50s we're gonna start off by throwing my favorite trout baits the trout magnet toss that here in the current so we can get something to eat it oh first cast not even kidding not even kidding guys first cast and we are on with our first trout of the day not a monster wet our hands a little bit there we go guys Look at that. First trout of the day. Is that a cutthroat? I think it's a baby cutthroat. It's kind of hard to tell. He doesn't have the slashes underneath his jaw, but he doesn't have a whole lot of spots. I think that's a cutthroat, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree, but we are on the board with our first trout. Heck yeah. What the heck? What the heck? I got a snake on here. He ran into my line. Oh my gosh, he's eating a sculpin. It's a snake with a sculpin. A sculpin. A sculpin. Yeah, he's eating a sculpin. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. I don't know how this happened. This is the craziest thing ever. This is the craziest thing ever, guys. I thought I was hung up in a stick, but I've got a Midland water snake and he is eating what I think is maybe a banded sculpin, some sort of sculpin. Oh my gosh. Check that out guys. Well, unfortunately, uh, this Midland water snake dropped his sculpt and I was wanting to show you guys the fish. I don't know how that happened. My line was just drifting and I thought it was a stick out there and then I was reeling it in. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a snake and the line was actually in his mouth somehow. That's crazy. So crazy. We've already caught a trout. We've already caught a snake. Good thing you're not afraid of snakes. I know, right? If I was, oh my gosh, can you imagine a trout angler right here that's terrified of snakes? <laughs> That would have been a, I mean, would have been a disaster because the line was actually kind of stuck in his teeth pretty bad. But that's a really nice looking snake. Any cool, Jay? Yeah. There is a ton of these Midland water snakes. I hear they love these cool water streams. It's probably, if we do see more snakes, they're probably all going to be Midlands. And take a look at that belly, guys. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. Oh my. Such goodness. a cool snake. It's crazy finding snakes in a trout stream, but we'll take it. We're gonna send this guy back and maybe we can flip over some rocks and maybe we'll get lucky and catch one of those sculpins because they are really cool looking fish. But until then, we're gonna send this guy back and try to get after some more trout. We've only been out here five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Woo. There he goes. He'll probably find another sculpin. These sculpins are underneath all these rocks and they just these snakes just probe around in there and they're probably pretty easy for him to catch. All right, let's catch some more trout. There we go, trout on. Trout on, oh, that's a little bit better trout. Better than our first one. A little bit bigger. Get up here. Woohoo! All right. We will take that right there. Oh, there is my second trout of the day. We moved upstream a little bit, got into a little bit deeper water. 
That is definitely a rainbow trout. Got him on hooks. Beautiful little fish. We'll send him back. Bye. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Hey! My first, oh, I lost my first trout of the day. Oh, no. I lost my first trout. Got him. Fish on. Feels like a pretty decent one, actually. Feels like a pretty, oh, it's a decent trout. Decent trout, guys. Get out of that grass. Come on up, baby. Come on up, baby. Nice trout, baby. Come on. Woohoo! There we go, guys. Get up here. Woohoo! There we go. There's my third trout of the day. This is the biggest one we've caught so far, and this is going to be our first keeper. This guy swallowed the hook pretty bad. We swapped the fuse and some, uh, some shrimp on the bottom, and this guy fell for it pretty instantly, which is a good sign because they really weren't hitting the trout magnet very well. I'm thinking that's because the sun's up pretty high, and normally the trout magnet works better in cloudy or low light conditions. But either way, got a nice fish, put him on the stringer, take home for dinner. Nice. Fish on! Fish on! Looks like a decent one. Okay, I've already lost my first trout of the day. I need to land this one. Woo! Yeah, baby! All right, there we go. There's my first trout of the day. Another keeper, so we're gonna add this one to the stringer. Hopefully, I'm gonna catch trout a little bit bigger than this today. I'm hoping to catch a monster. Yeah, but that's a good keeper size, though. Yeah. We're looking to maybe keep like four or five of these guys, so we have a nice meal. Good eating. Good job, Jay. <laughs> Fish on. We got a trout. We got a nice trout, I think. Oh yeah, nice trout. Nice trout. Up here below the dam. Back on the trout magnet program. This is gonna be the biggest one of the day so far. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Look at that beautiful rainbow trout, guys. Smoke that trout magnet. I'm out here waiting in the water. It's very cold, but there's some deep water over here and it's the only way I can access this by waiting out here a little bit. This one is a nice fish. It'd be nice to put on the stringer, but the stringer is all the way back uh, over there where Jay is at. So I'm actually going to release this guy. Let him get bigger. Bye. That's a good trout, Jay. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, sorry. All right, there's my second keeper trout of the day. We moved up river a little bit. We got this really cool, beautiful spot, and this was my first cast at the new spot, and he smoked it. I know, that's a really nice keeper trout. I think it's our third one on the stringer. Yep. A couple of more and we'll be doing good. That guy's gonna taste really, really nice when we get home later. Oh, fish on, fish on baby. Woo! I thought your shrimp flew off. <laughs> I guess so. That's another nice one. Yeah! Another keeper if you can land him. Yes! So far I'm really liking this spot. We've had a lot of action. And we got another keeper for the stringer. So we're going to string him up and we're going to get back out there. Okay, so this trout keeps stealing our shrimp. So I'm going to try some power bait. It's got some white power bait here in the jar. I like power bait too because it floats up off the bottom and helps us keep from getting snagged up. That'll probably work. Oh, instant on the power bait. Instant, as soon as it hit the water. That's a good one. Woohoo! 
power bait trout get up here yes not too shabby nice little trout white power eggs send them back Guys, we've got another huge, beautiful Midland water snake right here. I'm gonna try to catch him. He sees me, I'm gonna go for him. He definitely sees me. He is so big and beautiful. I got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful snake. Oh my gosh. Guys, we got him. What a gorgeous snake, are you kidding me? This is unreal. Whoa! Guys, this is an amazing Midland water snake. I mean, look at the colors on this guy. It's so vibrant. You can see the oranges, you can see the brick reds. This guy looks like he has a fish in his belly, maybe one of those sculpins we saw earlier. This is not the same snake, of course, but oh my gosh. What an amazing, I was walking down this rock ledge and he came out from the rocks, went down on the water and started swimming over there towards our trout on the stringer. So I was like, oh. I saw you stalking it. I know, I was like, I'm gonna go over and get him. <laughs> What a beautiful snake. He's being pretty mild. He tried to bite me at first, but he's doing pretty good. Didn't really musk that much. I mean, just a gorgeous snake. Now, if you weren't good in snake ID, you might would misidentify this as a copperhead because they kind of have similar colors. Um, the difference between this snake and a copperhead is that a copperhead's patterns on their back is more in the shape of an hourglass. And as you can see, it's just kind of just, you know, random where the blotches are on the back. And of course, if you look at the belly, He's got those dark red half moons. And does he have an orange belly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a snake. This is what you want to see out here at the river. Beautiful, beautiful water snake. This has been a fantastic addition to today's catch. But with that being said, we're going to send this guy back into the river and we're going to try to catch a few more trout. Ready to go, buddy? Let's go. There we go. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big trout, big trout, big trout, biggest of the day. Nice fish. Stay on there, buddy. He just thumped that thing. Is that a brown? Is that a... Oh, that's a... you got the net? Jay's got the net. Woohoo! It's a nice fat rainbow. Yeah! Let's go. There's the trout I just caught here from this spot. We've been fishing here for about 10 minutes with no bites. This is the first bite we've gotten here, uh, but he nailed that shrimp. He hit it so hard. It's our biggest trout of the day. He's a little bit too big to keep. We can only keep him 14 inches and smaller. We don't have a ruler, but I think he's probably about 15 inches or so. So we're gonna send him back into the river, see if we catch one more keeper. We're gonna let him go here in the current. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hooked up, baby. Hooked up. She's hooked up, guys. What is it? It's a brown trout. Oh, it's a brown. Is that your first one of the day? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Beautiful little brown trout. Made the money move. Caught that nice big trout. No. Sorry. <laughs> Lost him. Get back out there and catch another. <laughs>
All right, guys, it is the next day, but it is finally time for us to enjoy our catch from yesterday out at the river. We have our beautiful rainbow trout here on the plate. We baked in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Had them seasoned up with some slap your mama, some lemon, some butter, some onion, and then a little bit of a lemon pepper drizzle. Just a super simple and easy recipe. And uh, we are excited to try it out. We haven't had trout in so long, and I can't think of a better time than now <laughs> to go in for the official taste test. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, here, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thanks for helping catch these fish. <laughs> Cypress, you'll get to enjoy this one day. Ready, <laughs> set, go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. That is good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Jay was a little bit iffy about trout whenever she was pregnant. There was one time she ate it and she was like not really feeling it. No, I did not want trout at all. Whatsoever, so I was like, dang, that's kind of a bummer. I want to go catch some trout, but dang, that's good. Spicy. You couldn't even say trout. No. If you even talked about trout, I would feel sick. It was weird, but she was literally like, ugh. I'm like, don't do that. I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that. We like trout. This is really dang good. Yeah, mm. it is. It was seasoned up with a bunch of Slappy Mama, so it would like soak through the meat. We, had, we scored mm. the meat so it would seep in there. It's really tender, too. It's so good, Cypress. Mm. These trout are so good. This is, this is actually like, this size fish is normally not the size we would traditionally keep from that spot. But they changed the regulations at that river where you can only keep trout 14 inches and smaller. Where normally we would keep like, you know, 15 to like 17 inch trout. There's just a lot of trout in that river. Um, these smaller trout are like super tender and delicious. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Man, this is good. A little onion, a little lemon. Look at that. Wish y'all were here to try this. Like, this is some of the best fish I've had in a while. I also like the skin. Mm -hmm. I love the skin. Mm. That's fantastic. What do you think about it, Cypress? Smell good? He said it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> he looks happy. I love, I, know. I love his little head peeping over the table. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Guys, he's starting to get really strong. He's going to be sitting up on his own like probably within the next week or so. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. It's really awesome. Well, that is going to be it for today's video. We had a great time at the river, and we hope you guys enjoyed this trout fishing adventure. If you did, do us a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're Good calling time. Jay and Baby C, and we'll catch you on the next one. Say bye. Bye guys. Bye. Whoop.